it could be the more perfect day to do this video and this is my very first very 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 first vlogmas i've seen so many other people do this and i make loads of short form videos for other platforms but i've been wanting to do this and so i've actually booked a whole week off work so that i can do christmas decorations instead of christmas decorations at home and i can do my very own version of vlogmas this is new to me too so welcome if you're new and um, if you've come in and if you followed me from shorts, I'm so, so thrilled that you would want to actually even spend a little bit of time with me. It's snowing here in Yorkshire today, so it feels like the most perfect day to actually be doing your Christmas decorations. I like, I really do need to have to show you that there is a little bit of snow out here. Like the perfect thing to be decorating. It's I've had some Christmas music on already. I've already gone in the loft last night. We got down all, oh, we got down all the Christmas decorations. The tree is up and um, my lights are ready, all plugged in. Perfect, you know, when something comes together like that, it feels like it's the most perfect moment. Today's job in this setup is going to be Christmas tree. I'm gonna try and get the Christmas tree sorted. Try and get on with some of the shelves as well. And something else I'd really like to do is hopefully this morning I'll get it done, is to go onto Canva and to make some Christmas screensavers and load them up on my YouTube as well because I just can't find the ones that I want. So I figure if I load some of my own up, you might want to use them. I'll definitely use them over Christmas. I need audio on them, so it shouldn't be too hard to do. I've just got to sort of figure that into the time. And then I'm probably gonna have a clear up as well in the living room and move out the plants. I've got a whole load of decorations which I never used last year because I went and bought them in the sale at um, Wilkinson's. So we go colourful in this house. We're a colourful Christmas tree decorator, by the way. Not You have entered like the sort of dopamine colourful Christmas um, thing. So I've got these ones that I got, these huge ones that I got from the Wilkinson sale. They were a pound each. And I've got this whole load of really lovely stuff from Ikea, which was so ridiculously cheap and I've never used these either. I can't even remember what I got because I literally put my way straight into the loft. Oh, stop. <laughs> They're so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely gorgeous. So glass, colourful ones. So, oh my gosh, I got, I got two boxes of those last year and then lots of really lovely... I'm gonna do red and white in the kitchens. So I've got, I've got these. These were like a mixture of 50p and a pound. I was so fortunate to get that. How much did I spend? 32 pounds. 32 pounds I spent last year. And I got all of these. Plain red ones, because you always need those for other things. The red and white. Green and red and white, because I do like them as well. And then those ones. And then we love the bells, so. Can't wait to get them out and get them on. So I think I'll just crack on. I'm gonna try and crack on and do bits and pieces every single day this week. Five days, five days of Vlogmas. Let's get started on the tree. So my first job is to actually get these all plumped and straight. I don't use tinsel a lot, but I do break the rules for the tree. I like to take a big thing of green and stuff it around the, the center of the tree because this is a tree that looks kind of like a real tree. And I think this works great if you've got a real tree as well. We used to get a real tree all the time, but I invested in this one because we like to go so early with our decorations that I find a real tree just dies and it just looks so sad. So this isn't a trick that you can do for a real tree person. Or if you've got a tree like mine, that has got lots of gaps and it adds a little bit of sparkle. I can't explain it. Let me do it and I'll show you and you can see and you can make a decision. Let me know if it's something you would do.
I can't even hardly see it. Look, just adds a little bit of depth in there. Time to pop the lights on and I don't know if you've ever seen this method, but it's a method that I absolutely love and I swear by. And it is the zigzag method for doing your Christmas tree lights. And I used to work in a conference center where we did amazing, beautiful decorations. And somebody taught me there who'd done huge trees, commercial trees. It's just better overall to go up and down, mainly because you might be using multiple sets of lights. So also like it means you don't have to go right to the back of the tree and you're not wasting lights if you go round and round and round. Yeah, when you come to take it off at the end, it is so much easier. I can't even explain to you how much easier it is. To Normally I would go up and down. A little bit of a situation because I bought myself some new lights. These aren't quite long enough to go up and down. So I'm going to go from side to side. I am having to live with my decision because I have spent enough money on Christmas and I don't want to spend any more. Round and round to the side and then I'm going to tuck them all in. To show you how easy it is to get them off. So before I crack on and finish it, when you get to the end of the month, look at that. It's gonna be so, just, you don't even have to move your tree. Just pull them off, like, look. So, it's just brilliant. It wasn't even my idea. I use it, but I'm so grateful for people with coming up with these genius ideas. The critical thing now is not leaving like, like this, or when you go up and down, not leaving them like that. And then white, because I think that'll be much easier to actually see where they need to be. dog's been really helpful today. <laughs> Looks like one of the cushions. Just come upstairs because I've got all the decorations in my bedroom. <laughs> Last year I tried to bring all the decorations downstairs into the living room and because it takes me so long to get through things, it was mess for such a long time. So this year I'm trying a different method. Here in bags, in stuff, ready to go. So um, I'm just gonna grab myself the decorations that I think I need for the Christmas tree and take them downstairs. for now I can always come back up for some more especially because I've got those new ones from Ikea because I'm not sure how many I actually need but oh this is the best bit right okay 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 right down we go down we go down we go the dog always following me around you ready Ferdy I need you to get out of the way Look, what do you think <laughs> what's all this it's not food is it <laughs> You'll have a good go at that though, won't you? It's exciting, Ferdy. Come. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Oh, if only you were a more helpful actual little Santa's little helper, but I do like having your company. I actually need a banana break before I carry on. I'm feeling a little bit... Ooh, I've had a lot of coffee this morning, so... I'm going to soak it up. I hate these things. So I'm going to take them off. Hooks, because you can secure them so much better. So you just have them. And you can just wrap them around the branches then, which I think you just wrap them around, which means you can... Oh, got them all on here too. And this year I think I'm going, going colourful. But I'm trying to go with a more pastel theme. One of the reasons 
why I love using the wire so much is that because it means you can position them exactly where you want them to be. They can sit on the branches nicely and they're not going to go anywhere. Look at that. That's a lovely glass one. These were the ones that we bought in a sale last year in Ikea, which were like a pound a box. Right. Well, we've got them back in now and they're back up to the original price, the same box. I think we're like, I think they're like over 12 quid for a box of... Um, but I, feel, feel, I felt really smug going around Ikea oh, because geez. I was like, oh, we got those so much cheaper. That's all the Ikea ones and all my new baubles on and a couple of big ones. So that's giving me a fill. And now I'm just going to go in and like fill all the gaps with everything else that I've got. I've got that's my vibe, but I think Christmas trees is so personal. Mine's in my living room, yours is in your living room. You really have just got to do what you love looking at in your living room. And We're up to but I'm a little bit bored now which is a bad sign for me I need to take a break and do something different so I'll just get filled out now over the next few days have a look at all the gaps and I'll fill it as I go I think I'm gonna have no a go now at the screensaver I've got this one for Christmas here but I want to have a go at making my own and I was really hoping that the screensavers would be done, but because I've done them in 4K, which is the best quality, obviously, um, it's going to be about four hours, so I probably won't be able to get to use them till tomorrow. So, ooh, might start on the bottle brush tree instead. Just doing the lights for the, that I'm going to need for, um, oh, where have I put them? Hang on, here we go. I've got a set of micro lights, but I'm going to put it on the shelf before I put all the bottle brush trees on. I use so many batteries during December. <laughs> really need to use rechargeable ones, otherwise it's just a stupid expense and such a waste as well. I can, I'm gonna, I'll link this below for you. I picked these up from the pound shop as well. These ones are Kodak ones. So you can keep the ones that I have been using so that you can, the ones that I've been using just so that you can see. I just think it's a much more sustainable way i plug that in it takes a couple of hours for them to charge up i'll just keep this on rotation then in december I adore these bottle brush trees and I've been collecting for a long time. I've added a few more in. I also did some of my dyeing of my own bottle brush trees. This one I dyed myself, this one I dyed myself and there's a few others on there as well. So I'm just gonna to add to that collection over the next few years. Just noticed that two of my screensaver videos have loaded. I've never done this before. I'm not sure they're the best quality. So I'm gonna pop them on the telly. YouTube. Don't know if I've chosen the right quality, so. Only this will tell me, I suppose. Okay, this is the first one. I'm, I I like that. It's quite bold, isn't it? Just extra barbels. That's the first one. And then there's the red bow. That one I love. I'm going to keep adding them, I think, through December. So the final thing is now I'm going to clear up. I'm going to move all the plants out so that tomorrow I can get cracking on with the rest of the living room. this up every so often but it still matches the feel and it just creates a really nice backdrop to 
any Christmas scene and I think it works great above the piano. It fills in quite a big white space once the plants have gone. So that is going to go up there. The end of day one vlogmas. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to take the dog out for a walk because he's been very patient today and then I'm going to crack on and finish off tidying up and get everything ready for day two of vlogmas.